Hello everybody, welcome to today's devotion for July 18th. Today's devotion is titled, Doing Something Right. And the Bible reading is from 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verses 10 to 16. The Lord spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they paid no attention. So the Lord brought against them the army commanders of the king of Assyria, who took Manasseh prisoner, put a hook in his nose, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon. In his distress, he sought the favor of the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his ancestors. And when he prayed to him, the Lord was moved by his entreaty and listened to his plea. So he brought him back to Jerusalem and to his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord is God. After he rebuilt the outer wall of the city of David, west of the Gihon Spring in the valley, as far as the entrance of the fish gate and encircling the hill of Ophel, he also made it much higher. He stationed military commanders in all the fortified cities in Judah. He got rid of the foreign gods and removed the image from the temple of the Lord, as well as all the altars he had built on the temple hill and in Jerusalem and he threw them out of the city. Then he restored the altar of the Lord and sacrificed fellowship offerings and thank offerings on it. Fellowship offerings and thank offerings on it and told Judah to serve the Lord, the God of Israel. The letter from Jason, an inmate, surprised my wife and me. We foster puppies to become service dogs to assist people with disabilities. One such puppy had graduated to the next training phase, which was run by prisoners who've been taught how to train the dogs. Jason's letter to us expressed sorrow for his past, but then he said, Snickers is the 17th dog I've trained, and she is the best one. When I see her looking up at me, I feel like I'm finally doing something right. Jason isn't the only one with regrets. We all have them. Manasseh, king of Judah, had plenty. Second Chronicles 33 outlines some of his atrocities. Building sexually explicit altars to pagan gods, practicing witchcraft, and sacrificing his own children. He led the entire nation down this sordid path. The Lord spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they paid no attention. Eventually, God got his attention. The Assyrians invaded, put a hook in his nose, and took him to Babylon. Next, Manasseh finally did something right. He sought favor. He sought the favor of the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly. God heard him and restored him as king. Manasseh replaced the pagan practices with worship of the one true God. Do your, do your regrets threaten to consume you? It's not too late. God hears our humble prayer of repentance. What regrets do you have? How might you honor God by letting him redeem them and use you to serve him? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.